right, so I've had some symptoms, cold symptoms since Wednesday, sore throat, um, stuffy nose, sneezing, coughing, just the uh, regular, excuse me, I should have took this jacket off first. Regular cold-like symptoms, uh, and now I'm gonna go get my first COVID test. So the way they do it here in the military is you gotta call the hospital, a hotline, then uh, they call you back with an appointment to see if you should get a test. Uh, I told them those symptoms I just told you. They said, yes, I should get a test. The nurse called me back and said, come to the hospital on the base. <laughs> Let them know that you're here for a swab and they'll come out to you to your car and uh, swab your nose. So let's go do that. And uh, I'm gonna try and catch that on video and uh, see what this, uh, I heard it's not that bad anyways, but yeah. All right guys, see you soon and fingers crossed. Pretty confident it's negative, only about 1% comes back positive. So, you know, I got a 99% chance that it's negative. So that's a good thing, see you soon. So it's a pretty nice uh, hospital base hospital it's a beautiful establishment got some troops marching all right so I have to go talk to someone at these sea cans and let them know that I'm here for a COVID test and then they'll come out to me. So I'm gonna put the camera down and park. I'm here, I'm gonna put my mask on. We'll talk to the folks at the sea can and then come back to the car and they're gonna do the swab while I'm in the car. So, all right, all right, here they come. Hey guys. Corporal, uh, how do you pronounce your accent? Patularu. Patularu? Yeah. Okay. I'm Corporal A. I'm a medical technician. But he's a medical technician. Okay, well. cool. So we're just going to give you a quick nasal swab. Fine. I'm just going to let you know and let's confirm your service number. And six. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to describe the procedure. It's a pretty harmless one. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to measure you right now. Okay. After I measure you, I'm going to insert this in one of your nasal passages. Okay. And then I'm going to hold it there. For five seconds, I'm gonna give a little twist and then pull it out, okay? Alrighty. Have you had a broken nose or a deviated septum that you know of? No. No? Do no. you breathe out easier out of one side or the other? Yeah, so no issues. Side? Oh, no, no, I mean, no, it's uh, it's equal. It's, it's equal. Yeah, okay. sorry, Perfect. misunderstood your question. Have you had a swab before? Okay. No. No. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that. Measurement. All right, so you have no preference of where, where you wanna go? No. Okay. All right, so if you could just tilt your head back just subtly. Yep. And okay. just breathe through it. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, thank you very much. Ooh, you're welcome. <laughs> Make your eyes water? Yeah, that's a good thing, right? That's yeah, what you're that's looking it. for? That's what we need. <laughs> Your eyes are watering, we know you did it right. Right on. Uh, excellent. Sorry for the discomfort. Oh, Thanks. it's all good, guys. Okay, so uh, now uh, in regards to results. Yep, so Dana is going to call you okay. whether it's a positive or negative result. Okay. The results come back within 24 to 48 hours. Right now it's a little bit longer because we're having so many people send their children to school and come back. And so there's no okay. swaps to it. I got my daughter's done. Uh, it was like uh, six hours, which was I was pretty surprised. Very quick, yeah. yeah, it was very quick. So you should get with 24 hours. Although we don't call on the weekends because we're not in. It's being Friday, so I should expect a call on Monday uh, morning. Monday morning. Yep. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you're okay to isolate at home. Yep. Yeah. So the conditions of isolation are that you need to isolate until you get your call right. with a negative result. And are you symptom Are you symptomatic right now? Yeah, mild. Okay, mild, yeah. so you need to be with the negative result and 24 hours symptom free. Okay, so let's say, uh, I know you don't call weekends, but let's say you call me tomorrow with a negative. Yep. I still got to wait till my symptoms are gone for, for 24? 24 hours, exactly. Yep. Until I could go back to work That's or right. whatever. Yep. Okay, guys. Any questions? No, thank you. Perfect. Have, Have a, a nice day. day. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Oh, that was a little uh, uncomfortable. 
and uh, kind of weird. Like, okay, if I got a negative result, like, why you want me to still isolate till 24 hours after my symptoms have subsided? So, it seems a little overkill on that side of the house, but yeah. Oh, I wanted to sneeze no, so bad, but it didn't come out. Anyway, so uh, there's my COVID test exper <laughs> experience. So uh, I will uh, let you guys know when it comes back negative. Pretty confident it will. So, okay, you guys have a great day. I'm going to go home and bye for now.